Hi, welcome to an NX10 video tutorial. I want to do a spring with expressions. I did this kind of spring a long time ago without audio commentary, so it's sort of a remake, but I've added something special because I was asked on my YouTube channel how to do this kind of spring with an angle to the set axis but with constant diameter, so I changed my expressions and there is an angle. Let's change this value to 45 and see you got the same spring but now with an angle to the set axis. So let's have some fun with an X10. So let's set up our expressions. Go to Tools expressions and I need some. So first set up one which is called t. It would be a constant. And the start value is zero. And this variable runs from one to zero. Uh, from zero to one, sorry. Apply. Next might be an angle, so call it spring angle, which will be the angle to the set axis. And this should be an angle, and that might be for starters zero. Confirm. Then I need a radius for this helix and for this spring, so call this spring radius. That should be a length and that might be 20. Apply. Then I need a spring length or height. Another length and that might be 100. Then I need the number of the turns of the spring. So that would be a constant and call this number turn number and that might be 10 then I want to add a scale factor which might be 100 apply and not a constant, but yeah, it's a constant, sorry, it's a constant. Apply. Okay. I got these. Now I go for XT, which is the cosinus of the turn number. multiplied with 360 multiplied with t and that should be of course a length apply then yt would be the sinus of the same value turn number multiplied with 360 multiplied with t close apply to number and not sinus but sin apply and set t would be the spring height multiplied with t another length apply I think I have all my expressions and I would add if you want to have the angle between set and 
why you have to add one factor to this one to this expression so I define something else which would be a angle factor somehow and that would be the tangent of a angle so first I should define the spring angle spring angle I, I've got this already sorry <laughs> um, so I go for the angle factor factor and that would be the tangents of the spring angle apply and now I could add to this one plus the angle factor multiplied with the scale factor okay now I want to insert a log curve so go for curve and it's a log curve and all the values should be by equation by equation by equation parameter is t and the function is xt yt and zt okay so what I'm missing I forgot to use the radius so let's go to our expressions and I have to add multiply with the spring radius confirm and again multiplied with the spring radius okay that's more like it okay now let's change the angle that would be where is it here maybe to 45 okay so that didn't work let's check plus angle factor yt and I wanted to move it of course you have to multiply with this one with t okay that's it now you could add of course a tube go to more tube five millimeter for example and the curve is this curve and okay and you got the spring which is controlled by an angle yeah see the tube see the law defined spline and you could change possibly the expressions and go to tools expressions and if you go for an angle let's say of 60 and okay you got a different spring or helix so hope this was helpful hope you enjoyed it if you want to see more give it a like down below leave a comment thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye